Hey folks, just another quick one here. I know I said this kind of content is a sometime snack, but I consider journalistic, in very large air quotes, uh, organizations to be something fundamentally different from, you know, other YouTubers making content. And in this particular case, I noticed that I was getting a surprising number of views from people who strongly, strongly disagreed with me and had very strong preconceptions about the video that I'm about to be talking about. And so I went into the analytics and noticed that I was getting a bunch of views from some website called Ravius. And it turns out, uh, first of all, that they want you to pronounce that Rave US, but I will be using their biological name and pronouns in this particular video. But the Ravius people, who for some reason aren't willing to stand by their journalistic work, that's very interesting, posted an article about Missouri House Bill 2885 introduced by, as I've said before, representative Representative Jamie Gragg. And in their article, they made the interesting decision to link to my video with absolutely no context beyond listen to a liberal try to convince people why this bill is wrong. And of course, I don't really need to convince people because anybody with an ounce of sanity understands why this bill is wrong, uh, I think without even particularly any amount of outside suggestion. But nonetheless, I figured it was worth calling out this article and its absolute nonsense that it's pushing. So for a bit of background, and I'm going to poison the well here, because quite frankly, these people are demons and I don't particularly care all that much. This is some sort of a Christian nationalist DC-based, I guess, charity org? Except, of course, their goal is to make the world a worse place, so I don't know if charity is necessarily the word to describe it. But hey, as of today, their most popular article is entitled Taylor Swift accused of performing demonic rituals at her concerts, and I thought, hey, let's take a look at that before we take a look at the main meat of this video. So, yes, it seems that Taylor Swift has gotten herself into yet another piece of drama. Quite frankly, it's ridiculous that she hasn't been able to keep herself out of these things. I mean, seriously, there are allegations, straight up, legitimate, credible allegations, that she's performing demonic rituals at her concerts. And... I, I mean, I'm concerned about that sort of thing. I know I'm not a particularly religious person by any stretch of the imagination, but demonic rituals, that sounds like a bad thing to be doing. So let's take a look at some other evidence in here. Shane Lynch, a former member of Boyzone, asserts that Taylor Swift is engaging in pagan rituals in front of millions of admirers. According to devout Christians, specific musicians are openly channeling the devil, which puts civilization at risk. I've skimmed this article, but I have not tried to just read it like sentence by sentence, Jesus Christ. I, I guess that's kind of the goal here, isn't it? <laughs> just putting, putting civilization at risk. We're in so much danger because Taylor Swift did did a did a ritual, did, did a demon summoning at one of her concerts. Oh, God. Oh, and just to be clear about who it is that's levying this accusation, uh, he looks like that. So probably not the kind of person that's going to last very long in the Christian nationalist utopia that he seems to be interested in preserving, assuming that he actually meaningfully agrees with these people. I'm hell if I'm looking into it. This is such a stupid, stupid, stupid controversy. But okay, he's been on Christian radio to declare Beyonce and Sam Smith so demonic it's unbelievable, which to me raises the question, is there a level of demonic that is believable to you? Like, are there, like, are there degrees of it, you know? Are, are there people out there that are, like, half under the influence of Satan? So, like, they're worse than they could be, but, you know, the things, things could always go downhill from there. Because, I don't know, I always got the impression from churches and from religious people in general that it was kind of an all or nothing sort of a deal. And if you were under the influence of a demon, um, you were just, you were just doing evil, you were just doing the devil's work. But I don't know, apparently there's, there's, a, there's a spectrum of it. There's a level where you're only kind of half doing the devil's work. This week, he told Sunday World that he thinks Taylor Swift is a supporter of Satanism as well. And then this is, this is a quote from this guy. I think when you're looking at a lot of artists out there, a lot of their stage shows are satanic rituals live in front of 20,000 people without them realizing and recognizing. Um, okay, what, what is this, like, mechanically, what does this mean? What, what is our... <laughs> like, okay, so people don't realize that it's a demonic ritual, then like, what's it doing? What's, what's physically happening here? Swift has been implicated in satanic plots in the past due to allegations that she gives the horn signaling hand signal when performing. First of all, fantastic, fantastic word choice there. Horn signaling hand signal. Another theory is that she expresses I love you with a sign language motion. <laughs> God, you think? So, so, okay. Our options are either she's, she's signaling the devil 
<laughs> by doing the by doing the, the the three fingers hand signal or or and of course this is this is just another theory this is not this is by no means uh legitimate or a fact by any stretch of the imagination or maybe she's just saying she's saying i love you the way that everyone has since the inception of ASL. <laughs> oh God. They also post like a conspiracy tweet video that I, I mean, you can go find for yourself if you really want to, in which this guy tries to read like satanic messages into Taylor Swift's lyrics. It's, it's so goddamn funny. And anyway, these are the people that decided to use my article to lie about uh, transphobia in the United States. And I, I'm aware that I'm poisoning the well by showing you how incredibly stupid and deranged these people are. Um, I just, I literally don't care. They're liars. You know, like it's not, we're not talking about genuine people who stand by their work or who actually have meaningful beliefs as you're going to see here. So the title of the article is New Bill Will Add Educators Who Transition Students to Sex Offender Registry. And already we're off to a rough start. That's not what the bill does as we've established, I think, pretty clearly. So what this bill actually does, and you can go check out my video for a more, I guess, meaningful discussion of it. Um, but according to the text of it, a teacher will be added to the sex offender registry if they're found guilty of, say, giving a student information on how to go change their name or a nice hairdresser to go get their hair done, those sorts of things. So again, demonic, insane nonsense and pretty clearly an expression of a desire to just eliminate trans people from existence. But okay, let's take a look at their article. Many schools nationwide have policies prohibiting teachers and administrators from telling parents that their children are going through transitions at school. Teachers and other staff members are frequently urged to discreetly assist confused pupils in disguising themselves as members of the opposite sex or opposing sex, whatever, I'm not going to re-record that. Missouri might experience significant changes soon. Republican state representative Jamie Gregg and a couple of his colleagues would like to place children on a sex offender register instead of providing teachers with cover to transition students behind their parents' back. Wait, wait a second. Wait. What? Okay, they make an error like this before, but I guess I misread this sentence the first couple of times. So, to be clear, according to this article, they think that the kids are going to get placed on the sex offender registry. No, okay, wait, they, they make this they, they make this mistake twice in this article because they also say towards the bottom, students who were discovered to have engaged in social transitions would need to re register as sex offenders. So according to this article, according to this organization, they want kids, kids who transition to be registered. Oh my God. Again, the bill is demonic and insane, but, but these people are in favor of making children into, oh my God. Okay. Um, yeah, they, they basically, the entire article is just them defending this absolutely insane bill, trying to argue that it's even remotely okay to register kids or teachers. I, I'm assuming it's a typo and they just have no journalistic standards, but regardless, uh, registering teachers as sex offenders for providing completely asexual information to their students. And they're, they're, they're defending that. They're in favor of that because they're evil, because they're demons, much more so than Taylor Swift, that's for sure. But the one thing that I really do want to highlight here, and then we'll close out, I just, you know, kind of wanted to bring this to your attention as something that's absolutely batshit insane, is... Jamie Graggs, that representative who uh, sponsored this bill, his comments on this because I think they're quite revealing of his perspective. So this is what he said. This bill was created and really submitted to help parents and families and to help teachers. I talk to parents every day who are frustrated with the things that kids are being taught in school. I would say the large majority of teachers in our state and also in our country do a great job. They do a fantastic job. This bill is to put social learning development of our children back into the hands of parents. He also said, education begins at home and it's time for the few liberal activists who've infiltrated the education system to stop interfering in the relationships between parents and their children. We need to make sure teachers, those who spend their lives helping our children grow and prepare for the world, can focus on teaching. HB 2885 does just that. And the reason I want to highlight this is because this is not the language of a person who thinks that they're prosecuting sex offenders. This is not how you talk about child predators. You don't talk about how you just want to make sure that they get back to doing the right thing and focusing on teaching. If I were talking about, say, teachers or priests or any person in a position of power who's abusing that power to abuse children, I talk about them like they're monsters because that's what they are. And so when they actually talk about the issue, they have to kind of obfuscate and minimize the extent of the issue because they know that if they actually outright said the things that their bill purports to do, they would come across as lunatics.
because they are lunatics or at the very least they're just they're they're blatant liars and so yeah I just I just I kind of want to get that out there Jamie Gragg is a scumbag he's a liar there is no situation under which I can even fathom a person talking about predators the way he talks about liberal teachers which suggests to me that he knows for a fact that they're not predators and that he is simply proposing this bill he is simply sponsoring this bill because he very much dislikes trans people and it really doesn't go much further than that i don't think he gives a shit about children otherwise he wouldn't be doing this work to obfuscate what a child abuser actually is you know because of course pushing bills like this really only serves to benefit the child abusers in positions of power because it places a moral equivalency between actual child abuse and simply informing young people of information related to transition. And so, yeah, of course, you know, I, child predators probably love this law or this bill. They link to my video, which is an accurate summation of events that doesn't imply that children are going to be prosecuted as sex offenders, which is probably a mistake on their part. You know, why why would you give a fairly accurate summation of events um, in your article that is trying to lie? But, you know, it was kind of nice to just be like cited in an article alongside freaking like Aaron Reed and I don't actually know how her name is printed Alejandra Caraballo Caraballo I don't I've, I've only ever seen her on Twitter but regardless you know being cited alongside radical transvestites was you know I suppose a bizarre honor in and of itself fuck these people they will never see the light of heaven thank you for sticking around I don't know I like and subscribe if you haven't already peace out bitches